In this question, each diagram shows three forces on a beam. In which situation is it possible for the three forces shown to be in equilibrium? Look, what is equilibrium? When an object is said to be in equilibrium, no net force, no net moment. Now, what about this case in this one? Option A. Okay, this one is acting at the center, which will make the beam to move clockwise. What about 2 and 3? Suppose if this is 1, 2 and 3. 2 and 3 is also going to make the beam to move clockwise. So, object under A is going to turn clockwise. What about B? B also. Now, this two force, this is going to make the beam to move upward. This is going to make the beam to go like this. So, there will be a resultant in the clockwise direction. Then, what about this? So, this is going to, ex this when someone is going to pull the object in this direction, so the object is going to go in this direction. So, which means B also going to turn clockwise. What about C? This is going to turn the beam in this direction anti-clockwise. This also anti-clockwise. And here also anti-clockwise. Okay, the third one down here. So, C is also going to move in the clockwise direction, which means it is not in equilibrium. What about D? We have two parallel forces and there is one force acting downwards. So, suppose if one of the parallel force, this one on the left, is going to exert a moment like this and the one here uh, on the other end is going to exert a moment like this, then if the moment due to the third force is going to be at the point of intersection, then, okay, the third force, the moment due to the third force is at the point of intersection of these two moments, then the object is in equilibrium. Okay, so these two moments balanced by this moment. So, object will not move or turn. So, option D is the right answer. Thank you.